Ladies and gentlemen, this is the co-main event of the evening. Scheduled for three three-minute rounds, all for the Tough Enough Women's Bantamweight Championship. Introducing first, standing in the blue corner, undefeated with four wins, fighting out of Hidden Valley MMA, Riverton, Utah, and the current Utah State Bantamweight Champion, Jules Seahawk Winter! Standing across the cage in the red corner with two wins and three losses, fighting out of Kings MMA, Huntington Beach, California. Here is Jessica, the proud Chicana Martinez. Referee in charge of the action inside the cage is Dr. John Quinn. All right, ladies, the championship fight. You both know your instructions and rules. Dr. John Quinn with the final instructions here. Julie Winter in the blue top. Jessica Martinez in the black and white. You can see five foot six, both with identical reaches. Martinez three years older. Winter was just a little bit under the weight at 132. Wow, Winter very aggressive with an early right hand. She's moving forward. Like Jessica, she seems like she's not too sure of her distance. <clears throat> oh, they both do the right hand at the same time. Right now, it's like a fill out process, but now you see um, She Hope is pointing it up now. But I think, I think as soon as Martinez settles down, she'll be able to counter or something. She gets to settle down a little bit, she has the happy feet. Both girls need a, I think they should, yep, switch it up. Go to the body or throw leg kicks. Keep them guessing, or even go for a takedown. Nice, nice right hand. She hurt her. Nice right hand. The difference between these girls are, um, Julie's loading up with a lot of her shots. Just to look in the flow and just look to touch you. Right there, nice, nice body shot by uh, um, Julie. Good counter by Jessica with the right hand. Just doubled it up. You don't see that too much. But now, as you see, if you watch Julie when she comes forward, she looks to load up with the right hand. Jessica's just moving forward and touching her up. Nice double leg takedown attempt by Julie. Good defense by Jessica. Now, if I was if I were Jessica, I'd like to land a pull counter. A pull counter is when the um, your opponent throws a jab. You take a half step back, and you come over top with your right hand, like right there. But she didn't pull back. Good, good defense. Good way to keep your hands up. Impressed with Martinez right now. She looked very uncomfortable in the early going, but she's really settling in. And Windsor, I mean, they're, they're listed at the same height, the same weight, basically. But, but Winter, to me, looks like the bigger, stronger fighter. But Martinez handling everything very well at this point. Martinez, uh, Martinez seems to um, let her hands go better. And it's snappier. See, right there, boom, right there. But you can see um, Martinez's uh, defense is pretty good. Um, she trains with Cordero, who really stresses that as well um, at Kings of MMA in, uh, in Huntington Beach. Winter was super aggressive early. She's kind of settled down a little bit. I think she has to have, she's respecting Martinez, basically. Because she's been touched by the right hand a few times. If I were um, Winters, I would throw a jab, leg kick. Nice right hand there. Right there, good leg kick. Mix it up. First round's over. Interesting opening round, Mo. There, you know, a lot of back and forth between them. It looked to me in the early going, that winner was going to come out and really kind of dominate and push the pace and, and really be the aggressor. And that didn't turn out to be the case. Martinez did a fantastic job of earning her respect with counter shots. Really, a close round. Did you lean towards one fighter either way? Yes. Um, I, I, I give it a round to Jessica. I, I tend to agree with you. Even though I thought Winter was the one moving forward most of the time, I thought Martinez was the one that was, uh, you know, countering and answering everything very well. Really the one that was, was, was landing more frequently.
Could go either way, though, for sure. It's certainly a, a tightly contested round. And again, you know, the judges, I think sometimes they tend to value that aggression. Yeah. We'll see. Both fighters look fresh going into the second round. Again, this is three three-minute rounds in a championship fight. Winter again in the blue top. Jessica Martinez in the black. Martinez keeps that very compact stance, her hands in very, very tight. Both girls aren't very confident with their jab because they're pawing it. Yeah. Right. Nice. Good job. Good job. Um, I, I like when Martinez, she do the same. She actually, if you get a little closer and let her hands go like that, it'd be more effective. She'd be able to land because um, Julie is strong, but she always have less head movement. And she kind of seems a little stiff. And that's why she continues to eat that right hand when she comes in because the head stays on one plane right there. If she loosens up because she's loading up, look, see, she loads up with the right hand, bow and arrow. We call it the bow and arrow technique. The jab comes forward, the right hand comes back, releases it. If she just loosens up like she just did right there and let her hands go, it's much better. And another thing I don't like what um, Julie's doing is when she's throwing her right hand, she's turning her head and, and angling off to the side um, in fear of the counter, which you can easily get kicked when that happens, get kicked your knee. Not to mention just losing sight of the target yeah, at that point. Yeah, losing sight of the target, yeah. Oh, big right hand. Right hand follow-ups. That's probably going to be it. And now we know why she was loading up on the right yeah. hand because it took just one to get the job done. Credit to Jessica Martinez, who had been standing in the pocket, returning fire with nice counter technique. But Julie Winter unloaded a bomb. And Jessica would have, she would have put the earmuffs on. Turn, she would have get some head movement, it wouldn't have happened. Completely agree with you there. Let's take a look at the replay. Bow right arrow. up the pipe. You said it. That bow and arrow technique. Lay that left out there and then come back with the right. Set your cock it back. No. no head movement. Nope. Right there on the line. Nice, nice straight right hand though. You know. It was impressive. And it put uh, it put Martinez down immediately. Winner followed with a couple of punches. Could have interesting. A sister there celebrating the win. Oh, America's Next Top Model, earning a little bit about the family here. Yeah. But as you see, if Julie would just like throw the right hand from her chin, that could have happened a lot sooner. But the fact that she's loading up, right. the bow and arrow technique. Probably doesn't necessarily need to do that. It left her oh, wide open. If, 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 if uh, Jessica, because you can easily count the left, check her. Kind of, but that's not. That's why you don't open bow and arrow. You right. keep it tight. You shoot everything from here. Jermaine Taylor was known for doing that. The boxer, bow and arrow. Bernard Hopkins exploited that. And though he lost, he was landing some clean shots, countering him in that situation. Thankfully, see Jessica Martinez, the single mom there, is doing okay. She's a little frustrated, obviously, but again, all respect to her. We said it before the fight. Single mom, two jobs, helps around the gym. I mean, can't say enough about that type of woman. But Julie Winter. After some initial difficulties, needs to tighten up the techniques a little bit, but certainly has the physical tools. I mean, you can't teach power like that. She's got it. That was an yeah. impressive finish. Let's take, let's get the official time to stop. Presenting. Presenting the belt is Tap Out's Punk Ass and Scrape. Ladies and gentlemen, after a minute 19 into the second round, your winner by TKO and new Tough Enough Women's Bantamweight Champion, Jules Shee!